Hello, this is not your chem tutor, and in this video, I will teach you how to calculate the mole fraction. Plus, I have included practice questions for you to be familiar with the types of problems that involve mole fraction. So let's proceed right away to the formula. The mole fraction of a component is equal to the moles of the component divided by the total moles. Or in symbols, we have chi i is equal to n i divided by n total. The Greek letter chi is the symbol for mole fraction and n is the symbol for moles. So let's give an example. Let's say I have here a container and my container has substances A, B, and C. If I want to solve for the mole fraction of A, so that's chi of A, that is equal to the moles of A divided by the total moles. So moles of A divided by the total moles and total. If I want to solve for the mole fraction of B, chi B, this is equal to the moles of B divided by the total moles. And if I want to solve for the mole fraction of C, that is equal to the moles of C divided by the total moles. And how do you compute the total moles? This is just the sum of the moles of all components. So we have three components, A, B, and C. So N total would be moles of A plus moles of B plus moles of C. Now at this point, I want you to take note of this very important statement. The sum of the mole fractions of all components is equal to 1. That means that if you add the mole fractions of all components, that would total to 1. So let's go back to our example. We have the container that has substances A, B, and C. So we can solve for three mole fractions. We can solve for the mole fraction of A. We can also solve for the mole fraction of B as well as the mole fraction of C. The statement says that if you add the mole fractions of all components, this would be equal to 1. So chi A plus chi B plus chi C is equal to 1. If, for example, we have another component D, that means chi A plus chi B plus chi C plus chi D, that is equal to 1, still equal to 1. Again, the sum of the mole fractions of all components is equal to 1. So let's proceed to solving actual problems. We have question number 1. A closed vessel contains 1 mole of x, 2 moles of y, and 3 moles of z. What are the mole fractions of x, y, and z? If you can still recall, our formula for mole fraction of a component is equal to the moles of the component divided by the total moles. So in this problem, we are asked for three answers. The mole fraction of x, the mole fraction of y, and the mole fraction of z. So to solve for the mole fraction of x, that would be moles of x divided by the total moles. For the mole fraction of y, that is equal to the moles of y divided by the total moles. And for the mole fraction of z, 
that is equal to the moles of Z divided by the total moles. Now let's compute first for the total moles. Again, the total moles is just the sum of all the moles of all components. So n total would be the moles of x, sorry, x plus moles of y plus moles of z. And this is equal to, we have one mole of x plus two moles of y plus three moles of z. So the total moles is six moles. So this will be our total moles. So let's solve first for the mole fraction of x. This is equal to one mole divided by the total mole is six mole. And one divided by six that is equal to 0 0.167. So this is the mole fraction of x. For y, the moles of y is 2 moles. So 2 moles divided by the total moles, which is 6 moles, 2 divided by 6, that is equal to 0 0.333. So this is the mole fraction of y. And for the mole fraction of z, we have 3 moles of z divided by the total moles. 3 divided by 6, that is equal to 0 0.5. So this is the mole fraction of Z. If you can notice, mole fraction has no unit because moles will just cancel out. So these are the answers to question number one. Question two, a balloon contains 7.50 grams of helium and 10.0 grams of hydrogen gas. What is the mole fraction of helium inside the balloon? So question number two is a little bit different from question number one because instead of giving the moles of each component, we are given the mass of each component. So we have 7.50 grams of helium and 10.0 grams of hydrogen gas. Therefore, the first thing we need to do to answer this problem is to solve for the moles of each component. And how do we solve for the moles if we are given the mass? Moles is equal to the mass divided by the molar mass or the molecular weight. So let's solve first for the moles of helium. So N of helium. The mass of helium is 7.50 grams. And the molecular weight is given in the problem. It's 4.003 grams per mole. So grams will cancel. We have 7.50 divided by 4.003. This is equal to 1.87 moles of helium. Next, moles of hydrogen gas. The mass of hydrogen gas is 10.0 grams and its molar mass or molecular weight is 2.016 grams per mole. Again, grams will cancel. So we have 10 divided by 2.016. This is equal to 4.96 moles of hydrogen gas. Now, the problem is asking for the mole fraction of helium. So, mole fraction of helium is equal to the moles of helium divided by the total moles. 
Let's compute first for the total moles. This is the sum of the moles of all components. So we have two components, HE and H2. So N total would be the moles of HE plus the moles of H2. So N total is equal to 1.87 moles plus 4.96 moles. 1.87 plus 4.96, the total is 6.83 moles. So this is your N total. You plug this into your equation. N total is 6.83 moles. And the N of helium is 1.87 moles. Moles will cancel out. We have 1.87 divided by 6.83. And this is equal to 0 0.274. And this is the mole fraction of helium. And the answer to question 2. Question 3 is just similar with question 2. So if you want to practice this on your own, you can pause the video, solve the problem on your own, and if you have the answer, you can get back to the video and play. So question 3, a disinfectant solution is prepared by dissolving 70 grams of ethanol in 100 grams of water. What is the mole fraction of water in the solution? Again, we are not given the moles of each component. Instead, we are given the mass. So we have 70 grams of ethanol and 100 grams of water. So obviously, again, the first thing we need to do is to compute for the moles of each component. Moles is equal to mass divided by the molar mass or the molecular weight. So let's start solving for the moles of ethanol. CH3, CH2, OH. The mass of ethanol, according to the problem, is 70.0 grams. Now, unlike question number two, where the molecular weight is given, in this question, it is not. So you need to solve the molecular weight of ethanol on your own. I have already solved it, and it is equal to 46.068 grams per mole. So grams will cancel. We have 70 divided by 46.068. This is equal to 1.52 moles of ethanol. Next would be the moles of water. So N of H2O. The mass of water is 100 grams. And the molar mass of water, I also computed it, is equal to 18.016 grams per mole. So grams will cancel. We have 100 divided by 18.016. This is equal to 5.55 moles of water. The problem is asking for the mole fraction of water. So mole fraction of water is equal to the moles of water divided by the total moles. Let's compute first for the total moles. The total moles, we have two components. So that's moles of water plus moles of ethanol. Moles of water, we have 5.55 plus moles of ethanol, we have 1.52 moles. And this is equal to 7.07 .07 moles. So this is our total moles. So we plug this into our equation, and total is 7.07 .07 moles. And the moles of H2 is 5.55 moles. 
So moles will cancel. 5.55 divided by 7.07. .07. This is equal to 0 0.785. And this is the mole fraction of water. And this is the answer to question number 3. If you got a slightly different answer, that might be because we were not using exactly the same molecular weights for ethanol and water. So just to inform you, in solving for the molecular weights, I used 12.01 grams per mole for carbon. For hydrogen, 1.008 grams per mole. And for oxygen, 16.00 grams per mole. Let's proceed to the last question. A mixture of gases contains N2, O2, CO2, and argon. The mole fractions of N2, O2, and CO2 are 0 0.70, 0 0.20, and 0 0.060 respectively. If the total moles of gases is 10 moles, Compute the moles of argon in the mixture. Remember the statement I told you to take note of. It says that if you add all the mole fractions of all components, it would total to 1. The sum is equal to 1. So in our problem, we have four components, N2, O2, CO2, and argon. Therefore, the mole fraction of N2 plus the mole fraction of O2 plus the mole fraction of CO2 plus the mole fraction of argon, this is equal to 1. The mole fraction of N2 is 0 0.70, O2 is 0 0.20, CO2 is 0 0.060. We don't know the mole fraction of argon, and this is equal to 1. These three mole fractions add up to 0 0.96 plus the mole fraction of argon is equal to 1. You can transfer this to the other side of the equation and it becomes a negative. So the mole fraction of argon is equal to 1 minus 0 0.96 which is equal to 0 0.04. So this is the mole fraction of argon. And we know that the formula for the mole fraction of argon is the moles of argon divided by n total, or the total moles. Now we have the mole fraction of argon, 0 0.04, we do not yet know the number of moles of argon. This is the one being asked in the question, divided by the total moles. The problem says that the total moles is 10 moles. So divided by 10 moles. So to solve for the moles of argon, what you need to do is multiply both sides of the equation by 10 moles. So the 10 moles will cancel on the right side, and what is left on the right side will be the moles of argon. And on the left side, we have 10 moles times 0 0.04, that is equal to 0.4 moles. So the answer to this question is 0.4 moles of argon.